Hello everyone, welcome back to the Godzilla 2022 Happy Encounter. My name is Matthew, and today we're doing day 18. All right, we're getting we're getting close. You know, we're getting close to the end. Uh, let's go ahead and huh? Guess I forgot to turn the volume up. There we go. Which figure do we get? All right, more Godzilla finger puppets. I was hoping for Mezco monsters, but hey, it's good. Let's go. Let's do this. to anybody to ask like what the point of finger puppets are like who's gonna put on a puppet show with their fingers I don't know uh, but anyways hello everyone welcome back to the Godzilla 2022 I encounter my name is Matthew moving little red bird over here well big red bird and today we're reviewing this little guy which is the uh, UB they almost forgot the company name UB Godzilla 2004 Finger Puppets V2, which depicts Godzilla from Final Wars blowing up the building with a bunch of uh, what appears to be either smoke, debris, or water. I'm guessing it's smoke, but then again, it waves up like water does. Smoke does not go like this. Then again, it is a little cartoony style on Finger Puppet. So, uh, with that being said, uh, let's just kind of go over the sculpt and paint, which... For the sculpt, it actually is fairly movie accurate. I see 2004 Godzilla, which is quite surprising given uh, how simplistic this thing is. Teeth paint are painted mm, kind of good. They're a little scratchy, but they're not too, too bad. Um, the We have the Atomic Breath, which actually has a spiral, which is actually movie accurate because they did have like a really fancy looking spiral. Um, the explosion looks pretty dang sweet. I like all the gradients. Mine it does have a splotch of white, although I kind of imagine that more as like, uh, kind of smoke kind of peering through it. Although the smoke would be like much more black because when you watch you watch an explosion, it's black smoke, not white smoke. So, uh, it's, I, yeah, that is a pain, that pain error. But I mean, I already all have four of these. These things come in blind bags, and I. And the proud owner of four of them. You can watch my previous videos if you want to see them. But yeah, for the back here we have Godzilla's white dorsal fins. Don't really do anything else. They're dorsal fins. No paint on the claws. Oh, hold on. I stand corrected. There is paint on the claws. My apologies. Uh, there's paint right there on the toenails. Right here as well. It looks like he's kind of like crumpling behind the building. Just like woof. And just ah, kind of doing that. And which is really nice to see. Buildings don't really have a whole lot of detail on this side. Actually, yeah, I'm not on this side. But then when you get to this side, there here's a building with like a little bit of detail. It's kind of hard to see things to the colorful lighting, but there's quite a bit to see. And uh, Godzilla himself, reverting back to him, actually has yellow eyes, which is a huge plus for me. A head-on view is actually not that bad. It's probably one of the best. Ironically, this is probably better than the Playmix version, the six-inch version more precisely but um yeah uh for articulation there is nothing um but of course how does it function as a um finger puppet which a lot of the godzillas i have on something i seem to notice about these ones is that they don't really act as finger puppets now hold up yes you can stick your finger in the bottom of that and there is enough clearance room for like a little bit of it but it's not that <laughs> it's kind of a weird unsecure connection I mean you can probably go through the building Hold on the way I like to see it is because I probably have like adult fingers by now because um, when I got these I was much younger and such but now here we have like a bit of clearance room and the way you, there's two ways you can do it if you have smaller hands all right hold on if you have smaller hands I would recommend going through the building, which has it like a bit of an angle like that. Or you can go through Godzilla, which it's a bit of a more secure connection, but I find the connection through the building is a bit more secure. But then again, it's on your finger and you leave it on too long, it's probably going to cut off your blood circulation. Probably turn purple. Don't want that. So aside from that, I really have nothing else to say about this guy. It's 
small, you hold in the palm of your hand, there it goes, it's back again. Uh, but yeah, that being said, thank you guys for watching this video. If you guys liked it, definitely subscribe to the channel. Jesus loves you. God bless you all. Spread the gospel. And I will see you guys for tomorrow for day 19 of the Godzilla 2022 I've encountered. We're almost to the end. Only in six more days. 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25. Do we count the day or do we not? I don't know. Uh, whatever. Uh, see you guys.